how to choose a market for your business? It's a pretty important question, pretty important answer that you want to find. Saying that your services are so good that everyone will want to buy is actually going to hurt you in your business. So I've developed a hack for helping you choose your market in your business. It's a way of taking your expertise and finding out what markets are best suited to utilize your expertise and which one is right for you. This is a very tactical approach and so by the end of this episode, you'll know what steps to take to choose your market. Let's start out by talking about your expertise, right? You are an expert, you have experience, you have wisdom, you have knowledge, and there's people around the world that are actually searching for that knowledge. They're searching for these answers or your expertise. Now, they don't know that you exist, but right now, while you're watching this video, somewhere around this earth, this globe that we live on, there is somebody going to Google or YouTube, whether on their computer or on their phone, and they're typing in a question that you would be the perfect person to answer. And right now, they're not finding you they're finding somebody else. So one of the first things that we can do in helping you choose your market is find out who are these people and what questions are they asking. You can actually group them together and think, okay, here's a market, they're asking these questions, or here's a market, they're asking these questions. Before you can choose your market, you have to know what markets there are. Specifically, what groups of people or what audiences are there out there that are searching for your expertise. Let me just compare and contrast this. So a lot of businesses will make an ad and they'll push it out to different audiences and they'll try and see who's going to respond, right? So it's ad driven, it's message driven, and you're trying to find the market for that ad. So what we're talking about here is discovering your audience first, finding out what questions they're asking and really honing in on who those people are, what they're searching for, what their needs are, and how that matches to your expertise so you can really hone in on that market first and be able to deliver what they need. What I'm gonna show you here are the results that you can get from finding these questions that are consistently searched online. And that's the key, you gotta find questions that are consistently searched on Google and YouTube. So let's go to YouTube here. If you type in the question, you'll see it at the top, how to get business credit with poor personal credit. Notice that Noelle Randall as ranking at the top. She's got the top two spots. Buying vacant land in Florida, you find Brent Bowers at the top. How do millionaires build wealth using life insurance? You see Doug Andrew at the top. How to start a retreat business in position two and three, you'll find Michelle Villalobos. She's actually number four there as well. Pre-foreclosure, cold calling objections. Notice the top two are Nicole Espinosa. Can I hire someone to help me write a book? You'll find Dan Good at the top. And the cool thing is, I'm filming 20 episodes today. I'm upstairs and Dan is downstairs. He's filming 20 episodes today. Anyway, you see him ranking at the top there too. So how did we do that? How did we get at the top of YouTube and how does this relate to choosing a market for your business? Well, stay with me, okay? I'm gonna teach you a very important strategy. It's called my leaf strategy and it's a five ingredient strategy that all of these people have used to choose our market and to rank at the top of YouTube like this. Okay, so check this out. I've got this tree analogy that is really helpful. So a tree has a broad trunk that goes out to the branches that goes out to the leaves. The trunk represents your core area of expertise. The branches represent all the different categories you have expertise in. The leaves represent these questions, these specific questions that your market is asking, okay? So for example, let's say you're an expert in productivity. An example of a leaf would be what can increase productivity in a dental office. Or another example would be how to improve productivity on a construction site. These are questions that have consistent search volume every single month on Google and YouTube. So these leaf questions, I call leaf titles, and that's ingredient number one of this five ingredient strategy. Okay, you've got to find these questions. Here's how you find them. There's this tool called the Keyword Magic Tool. If you want a free trial, you can go to herokeywordtool.com. But as an example, let's say you, you are an expert in change. Maybe you help people navigate change in their life or in their business. So type change in there. This is the trunk of your tree. Turn on the questions button and turn on the word count filter. I like to start with eight. So questions that are eight words or longer because that's gonna help me find more specific questions. Here's some examples that I found. How to deal with a life-changing injury how to deal with employees' resistance to change, 
how to change your life at 60 years old. What are the primary components necessary for lasting cultural change? Look at the right here. You'll see how often these get searched. That's the monthly search volume. Some of these only have 10 searches per month, and I want to encourage you to start with those. You're going to be able to get the ranking on YouTube the fastest for those that have the least amount of competition. So the ones that have 10 searches a month or 20 searches a month are actually going to get you the quickest results. Ingredient number two is to have each of your episodes be 10 to 12 minutes in length on average. So if some episodes are shorter, say seven or eight minutes, some episodes are longer, like 14 or 15 minutes, that's totally fine. You've got a good average of 10 to 12 minutes. Just don't focus on the YouTube shorts if you want to get results with this strategy. Ingredient number three, you've got to keep their attention. So if you're going to make a 10 minute episode, but everyone is leaving right in the first minute, that's no good. Now, some people will leave early on. Okay. You can't help that, but other people will watch all the way to the end. If you set some good curiosity hooks in the beginning of each episode. So it's not just about creating valuable content the whole time, but in the beginning, kind of giving them a table of contents about what you're going to be covering and say it in a way that will really create curiosity and not give away the secrets. So if you have an average retention or an average view duration of 50% or higher, YouTube will be a lot more likely to promote your videos to a wider audience. Ingredient number four is custom thumbnails. When you're looking at the YouTube screen and you see those still images of videos and, and you get to choose from the menu of which video do you want to watch, okay, that's the thumbnail. You've got to create a custom thumbnail design in order to stand out and in order to keep people's attention. And ingredient number five is you've got to launch five episodes per week. Now that's a lot, but if you do this, if you follow these five ingredients, then in about four months, you will dominate your lane on YouTube. Meaning on this tree, like you've got a huge tree with hundreds or thousands of, of leaves on it, but if you hone in on a specific branch and you know that's your target audience and you know that you wanna dominate YouTube on that specific branch, it'll take about four months if you're launching five episodes per week. Now don't let that stress you out. I consider myself to be a master of efficiency. So when I film content like this, I film 20 episodes in a single day. In fact, that's how many episodes I'm filming today. I think I'm on episode seven of the day. When you film 20 episodes in a day, that gives you four weeks of content. And if you wanna start out more gradually and just launch one episode a week, go ahead and start there. If you film 20 episodes in a day, that gives you five months worth of content and have the goal of eventually increasing up to five episodes per week. So this strategy is the best strategy I know to really helping you identify and choose the best market and how to tap into that market and leverage YouTube to generate leads for your business. I want you to master this strategy. So I've created a mini course to help you. It's called the YouTube Lead Gen Blueprint. It's $17. You can find it at youtubeleadgen.net. And in this course, you'll go into depth on all five of these steps. You'll come away knowing how to choose your market. In fact, you'll be able to choose your market after taking this course, and you'll be able to start tapping into that market and generating leads from YouTube. So go to youtubeleadgen.net. I'll see you there.